So here we are now at the Elgato booth, and we are joined by Jeff Stegner. Yeah. <laughs> and he's uh, actually uh, going to alleviate a big problem that I personally have as a YouTuber, and especially doing those overclocking tutorials for you guys. And that is when I'm in the BIOS, I'm using my capture on my camera. And you know, a lot of people come constantly complaining about more air. The picture looks crap, I can't read the text. And now Elgato definitely have a solution. They're gonna explain as well in this video how it actually works, which is something that I've never really looked into, how the capture card does work and how you can alleviate that problem. So essentially you've got the one monitor here that's got the BIOS on it, and then you have that output. Yeah, so um, basically we're showing off a dual PC stream setup here, and the basic premise of it is you have a gaming PC outputting HDMI into the input of a yeah. capture card that's in another PC. Yeah. Now, both of them are running Windows in this scenario, but in your situation with the BIOS, that first PC that's outputting HDMI doesn't need to be running Windows because the second one is. Yeah. So the second one has like, the well, in our case, it's an internal, but if you have a USB capture card, that can be plugged into your recording or streaming computer, yeah. and then you can have the computer of the subject of your video that you need to go in the BIOS of, that doesn't need to be recording Windows. So you can do it without needing to point a camera at your, at your monitor. Yeah. So that's a USB output from the capture card going straight into that other computer. So you will need two computers, but at the same time, you can get that BIOS picture there recorded properly without all those glitches and stuff that it would be otherwise introduced from the camera. So that's one problem solved, definitely from getting an Elgato capture card. And I'm going to be getting one of these things, and I'm going to be actually doing proper overclocking tutorials from here on in. So stay tuned for that. But also another thing as well, you guys innovating with the software and especially focusing on the dual monitor setup here, as I can see around the booth here. Yeah, I mean, the dual monitor setup is really crucial because you can have your stream and everything that you need to focus on on one monitor, and then you can actually play the games on the other. Uh, so it, it's basically a, a necessity nowadays. But, you know, as far as software goes, at this event, we just released our, our 3.5 software, which uh, has a couple of really great features for streamers. We have text and video overlays now, so now you can add video clips or text files. You can type text right on top of our software to add to your stream, so you can put labels for graphics and everything on there. And then it also supports Facebook streaming and restream uh, re streaming. Yeah, so, uh, so we're showing it off here, and everybody's loving it. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely get that fancy look that a lot of those Twitch streamers are getting with those yeah fancy overlays and whatnot. The software allows that to happen a lot easier than otherwise manually putting it into some other software, yeah? Exactly, because one of the most common questions that we have are, why do I need a capture card when the Xbox One or the PS4 have some built-in recording options? And besides the limitations of how long you can record or, you know, yeah, just or how easy it is, the quality is just not there. And you can't put in webcam, you can't you can't put in graphics, and that's really what sets yourself apart from everybody. If you know, if there are millions of Xboxes out there and everybody's streaming the same content, how do you differentiate yourself? The market becomes saturated. So everybody's looking for that one up and being able to interact with your fans, that's what the webcam is for. They want to see you, they want to identify with you, and that's what's going to help you do that, and you need a capture card for that. Yeah, definitely to take a lot of load off, off the machine that's actually streaming with the built-in streaming software like the consoles, but the PC definitely solving a big problem of mine, and thank you very much, Jeff. It's great to see you on. Uh, I know a lot of people who are doing overclocking tutorials like myself will definitely be looking into getting a capture card as it will alleviate that problem. And thank you guys again once again for, uh, for tuning into this video. If you have any questions about the Elgato uh, capture cards or about the software, I mean, I've got a question before we head out, and that was in the future, you guys looking to plan to get into a 4K capture card and whatnot. So that's definitely something that will be on a lot of people's minds, definitely moving into 4K. Uh, me, myself, producing 4K content, want to get those overclocking tutorials out in 4k would that be something on your, on your to-do list I mean yeah I mean if you're a capture card company it's the consoles are moving in that direction so you want to you want to move the way that the market's moving so I mean without any kind of specifics it's just like you want to stay up to date so all I can say is we're not just resting on our behinds we're looking at making the best products out there to make the best experience possible for all content creators whether you're recording or streaming Thank you. And guys, if you've got any questions or comments for either of us, then please drop a comment in the comment section below and get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.